Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to talk about something that could be extremely useful, especially if there are a lot of people on the same home network, you've got children, you're looking for a way to maybe uh, block some sites. There's a interesting way that is way different than, you know, I don't like software that blocks or settings and windows where you can actually, you know, block some websites because when your children are small, that works, but you know what? Your children, especially when they become teenagers, are much more intelligent than you'd think with their computers. So basically, they know the little tricks and they can actually, you know, maybe unblock stuff that you blocked. So there's a way that's a little more complex, but is amazing, works well, and the good thing is there's just no way to go around it except being on somebody else's network. And it's involving a website that's called OpenDNS. OpenDNS is a website that's been around for a long time. It's one of the biggest providers of uh, DNS addresses in the world. And it often is, and I for a long time used the OpenDNS uh, DNS addresses because they usually give more uh, performance than local DNS that comes from your own service provider. A DNS is a address where basically when you go on the web, when you search for example, you go to facebook.com, well the DNS will resolve facebook.com and determine oh that's where you need to go on the web to have Facebook. Uh, any other place that you go on the web, you go to Google, it's always the DNS that resolves where you're going. Your internet service providers have DNS that they issue to your computer. Without a DNS address, there's it's impossible to go to any website. And basically what happens is you go to Google, it resolves through your internet service provider, and then it sends you to Google. That works fine on most internet service providers, but there is a problem sometimes. Some of the less known web addresses sometimes aren't locally saved. So then what your local ISP needs to do is query another computer and say, hey, do you know where this web address goes to? And that other computer will say, oh yeah, I know that one. Uh, here's the information that you need to know to go to that web address. And it slows down slow, you know, some of the websites you might visit. So OpenDNS being such a big um, provider usually caches much more websites than local internet service providers will. So often you have increased speed thanks to that. Another thing that's cool, if your internet service provider's DS DNS actually fails or has problems, well you still can go on the internet using the OpenDNS uh, provider. But there's an added bonus to that. When you use OpenDNS, you can also filter the content that's being received on your internet connection. Uh, one of the things that's cool about OpenDNS also is that it lowers the number of websites that might be malicious that you'll go to because it does have kind of a list of all the websites that you know are dangerous for the average user. So it also helps you secure your own uh, internet browsing. It's a little complex how it works, so you'll need to follow me closely. First of all, you need to know, if you have a router, how to change the DNS in your routers. That's the first thing. So you need to know the uh, you know, username, the passwords to access your router. So that's the first thing. And to use the OpenDNS DNSs, um, you go to your router and here you simply go down and you'll see I've put the OpenDNS information here at the bottom here. So you see that my DNS is now set static DNS 1, 208, 67, 222, and 222, and 208, 67, 220, 220. These are the OpenDNS um, resolver addresses. Once you do that, you'll need to reboot your router. E either by clicking reboot button that you might have on it or if you don't have a reboot button just unplug and replug the router and it will 
come back with these new DNS to resolve web addresses. Once you've done that, you now are using OpenDNS to go on the web, basically. You simply go with your web browser to OpenDNS.org and that will send you to the OpenDNS.com, basically. And here you can, of course, log in to your account. So what you'll do is log in to an account. And if you don't have an account, what you'll want to do is simply uh, create an account for OpenDNS so that you are able to use OpenDNS on your computer. It's a free account and it works great. Once you've done that, all you have to do is click the dashboard on the right side and you'll see something interesting. Now I am logged in with my account and when you are logged in with your account, you'll have to add a network. So basically what it does is, first of all, in the settings, uh, you'll be prompted to add a network. So now I've added Ohm Network here. What you can do next with Ohm Network when you choose your network is amazing. Here's the filtering that you have. You have specific filterings that are already there. So it says, for example, uh, low filtering protects against pornography. Moderate, all adult uh, oriented related sites and illegal activity. High, protects against all adult related sites, illegal activity, social networking, video sharing, uh, general time wasters, and so on. But you can manage individual websites. So you can say always block and here you'll put, for example, www.facebook.com. You'll click add domain and it will block this website. It takes up to a few hours for it to work well, but it does work very well. So you can add these, you can delete whatever you want to delete from the list. And there's two ways that you can block things. You can either, either block everything and just always uh, just put never block a certain website. That's called whitelisting. Or you can never block nothing, but say always block specific websites that you had to this list. You can also go into the customize. So you can say, for example, I'll use the high, well, I'll click customize. And here goes. These are all the websites that are blocked presently by a high filter. And you can add or delete all of that, um, the categories that you don't want to have. It's extremely, extremely good uh, at filtering. It can take up to 24 hours before it works, but I can tell you from tests that I've done, it's amazing and it works extremely well. Now, one thing that you might need to add to your computer, because most of us are on dynamic IP addresses, it means that my IP here that you see at the top, my IP changes all the time. And I know it because sometimes I check on my IP and the next day it's a different one. So basically, when that happens, OpenDNS can lose sight of where it needs to block stuff for you. So there's a little app of OpenDNS that's right here. You see it in my um, taskbar at the bottom right. And this one is the OpenDNS. It will ask you to enter your account. Basically, when you set it up for the first time, it will ask you, do you have a dynamic IP address? Uh, you know, if you don't know, I can bet you that probably most of you have dynamic IPs, meaning that the IP will change from time to time. So it will say, well, you want to download this package and install it, and you just log in, and then you click the update button, and what it does, it tells you using OpenDNS, yes. So if everything here is all right, it means that you are being kept safe with the browsing that you're doing, and you'll be able to apply filters that you want. So it's amazing website. It is very, very cool and uh, works well. It's totally free. So for personal use, by, uh, so why not check it out? And you know, it will help you to stay safe. Uh, that's for sure on the web. So OpenDNS is a great resource. You just add that 
And uh, if you have children, especially, and teenagers, uh, well, you know, you can block it from the outside. So basically, it's one thing for teenagers, for example, to change settings in Windows. But it's another thing to understand that you've changed DNS in a router and that you've actually applied. Uh, and even if, you know, he, he, they would say, oh, this might be the problem and they un and uninstall it. Well, it's still going to block because as long as the IP doesn't change, you're still being, um, you know, blocked on the websites that you've chosen. And there's a visual that you'll see if they've removed it or not also. So it's a very, very efficient way of blocking. It's also an efficient way of staying uh, much, much safer because OpenDNS does filter the web a lot to remove the bad stuff. So um, even if you don't have children or anything, using the OpenDNS um, addresses will also make you safer when you do this. So OpenDNS, great resource on the web to use. I've been using this for years. Um, I've been using it a lot on clients computers and routers to uh, basically you know prevent their children from seeing pornography stuff like that uh, blocking you know illegal download sites and it amazingly uh, works amazingly well it blocks pretty much everything so um, why not check it out if you're looking for such a solution if you enjoy my videos why not subscribe to my channel you'll be informed when new videos are online if you have any comments questions problems anything you want to know let us know um, give us thumbs up if you like the videos and if you have questions and suggestions maybe a video you'd like to see let us know and we'll try to post a video or help you if we can thank you for watching